Hello and welcome to Destination Passport, Passport, the only podcast about travel. I'm Keith Bird. And I'm Damon Product, and together we are Bird Product Travel Travel Agency. Agency. (laughs) Sorry, I said together we are, and then I didn't do the whole thing with you. I probably should have. Well, you know, that's what's so beautiful about uh, podcasting is that it's sort of like jazz. Yeah, the strict kind of jazz yeah, that we learned not, about. From not our, like strict jazz. Ah, uh, yeah. The more traditional, improvisational kind mm-hmm. of jazz, which is not as good, in my opinion. No, definitely not as good, but more modern. Yeah, you yeah. Know? It's not, you know, I'm just like, what are they doing? Yeah. What are they doing? But in podcasting, when you're just like, sometimes you uh, say something wrong, but you didn't. Because it's jazz. There are no wrong choices yeah. in, in podcasting. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I learned in, in all my podcasting classes that I took. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, Keith and I took some podcasting classes leading up to this. Yeah, yeah. Because we were travel agents first. Mm-hmm. And then we said, well, we want to take this to the masses. We want to record some of these sessions. And we didn't want to just come on here and sound like a couple of dumbos. Yeah, yeah. And, which we obviously don't. So we, we took some continuing education courses at University of Virginia Associates in the <laughs> podcasting program. Yep, exactly. And they have courses. They have 101 all the way to 601s. Yeah. Uh, and then you have student showcases at the end uh, of each of them, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Those are really cool. Be at a live podcast recording, uh, amateur podcasters. Tough to get my friends and coworkers to come out to those shows, um, but... Yeah, they're like, it's a podcast, right? I can just download it. It's like, no, we need an audience. (laughs) No, 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 no. This is a student showcase for a reason. We're mostly getting graded on on bringing people. (laughs) And selling drinks at the bar. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and I only got my one guest to drink one drink, and it was a two drink minimum, so I got a C plus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but we still passed, and here we are today. Here we are today with an A plus podcast, yeah, as rated by uh, Podcasting Magazine. Yeah, and we just got that in. That's new. Yeah, we just got that in. It's the only magazine about podcasting. <laughs> uh huh. And they created a category for us because they said we didn't have a travel category yeah, before because, because nobody else had no a travel, travel podcast. podcast. Yeah. Uh, and then you guys came around, revolutionized it, said the only podcast about travel, and we had to slot you in there. The crazy thing about Podcasting Magazine is they don't have a website, <laughs> and they don't have a podcast. Right? It's just <laughs> purely print. It's a print magazine about podcasting. But, we, you know, I think we're going to score a cover pretty soon. I I mean, th- hey, I'm looking to be that cover band. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're going to be like um, uh, that one cover of... John and Yoko on Rolling Stone. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> We've already done the photo shoot. We've done the photos. They're like, hey. And uh, they're going to be like, well, Annie Leibovitz shot that, and this isn't quite her. I was like, okay, well, it's pointing a camera at, at two naked people. How, how tough careful. can that be? Um, um, yeah, so that's, uh, that's one of the first things we want to say this week. Calling out Annie Leibovitz, you're a fraud. That's <laughs> Your important. whole career is a lie. Mm-hmm. We both feel strongly about that. Yeah. Um, so anyway, so uh, yeah, last week we had uh, one of our um, classic great clients. They were a classic great client and a smart one. Yeah, Douglas Michael Stewart, one of the smart... We're on a bit of a hot streak now <laughs> yeah. as far as not having total idiots as our uh, guests. And we say that uh, with love. In love, in a loving way. Yeah, because we, we work idiots. with everyone. Yeah, we love idiots. We love smart people. Uh, but I do think for whatever reason, people have been getting smarter and smarter. <laughs> and maybe... Dare I say it's because more and more of our episodes are going out and informing the public? Yeah, I think there's been sort of like an osmosis effect in society. With each episode, it's sort of just like, even though not everyone is listening to it, almost everyone. There are a couple people that yeah. haven't yet. Yeah, Not everyone's listening to it, but everyone is absorbing the knowledge. Exactly, because even if it's secondhand, thirdhand, fourthhand, um, it, it just gets integrated into society at some yeah. point. And basically what we're saying is that we are very influential in the world. Yeah, yeah, and I think that's uh, uh, undeniable at this point. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Douglas, but anyway, Douglas, Douglas Michael Stewart, um, he sent us a postcard, as all of our clients do. And what did he say? And he said he's having the, the time, time of, of his, his life. life. Yeah, he's, uh, he's going uh, he's sort of in the middle of the tour, I think. Um, he went to the underground uh, casino in Guatemala. Yep, yep. Uh, he didn't, went, kill, didn't assassinate anyone. Didn't assassinate anyone there. There. <laughs> He went to another <laughs> underground casino in Honduras and did assassinate a few people there. <laughs> but he said it was just a force of habit. And exactly. He's not beating himself up about it. And we we're like, that's good to hear. Exactly. Because you could totally relapse if you just fall yeah. into this mental pit of like, well, I already did it, so I should just keep going. Yeah. But he says, look, you know, it's a slow process getting out of assassinating people. So yeah. you got to do it every once in a while. Like, do whatever works, right? Yeah, yeah. And uh, he, you know, he just last night was at that big uh, birthday party, um, big, you know, ostentatious birthday party thrown by a major crime boss in That's Panama right. uh, for his uh, for his daughter. And, uh, 
Yeah, he he also accidentally assassinated uh, the daughter, actually. Which, but that, yeah, yeah, not the one to do. <laughs> not, not not the one who would make sense as a target. Yeah, like exactly. Daughter, she yeah. would she, uh, ostensibly. We don't know much. Maybe he went there and found out something else. But yeah. she would have been the most innocent one there. You would think. Yeah, you would think so. Yeah. Um, unless like she wanted to take over the throne and she was already planning all these big plans. Yeah. He didn't go into those details. Potentially that had happened. Yeah. But honestly, like you think about it, an assassin going on a multi-country tour, only assassinating like three or four people, that's pretty good. Oh, my God. I can't imagine. I mean, he's holding back. I think yeah. that's good. He's clearly weaning off, right? He's not yeah. going cold turkey, mm -hmm. uh, which is tough to do. But um, I'm glad to see that. And you mentioned, even with the, the last one, you said it was an accidental one. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't even a purposeful. Yeah, just accidentally got out a <laughs> silenced pistol and uh, shot her in the back of the head. And yeah, it's one it, of those it, things where you like, you got to sneeze, and his hand was on his silenced pistol. Uh, yeah. But he went to cover his mouth with his sneeze, and he pulled the pistol up and yeah, shot yeah. her. So, yeah, like you said, it's hard to quit cold turkey. Of course, he has to go still to the maximum security off the books prison in Hong Kong yeah. uh, to... Uh, play board games with the mastermind criminal who goes by cold turkey. Um, <laughs> and, uh, you know, uh, hopefully that'll go well for him, you know? Yeah, hard to go cold turkey, but he's going to have to go cold turkey there, as in go to see, go to see cold, cold turkey. Go to see cold turkey, one of the, the, the most diabolical, yeah. um, maniacal villains in the world. Yeah, so that might be his biggest test, but we're proud of him, happy for him, happy, happy that we got happy. another happy client. Uh, but Keith, I think we, uh, I wanted to talk to the guests, uh, or not the guests, sorry, the listeners today mm -hmm. about... Uh, or sort of guests, you know, in a way. That's true. They're just not uh, first-hand guests. Mm -hmm. They're kind of the second-hand guests. They're second-hand guests, yeah. Um, kind of like second-hand lions. Now, what's that? It's a movie with uh, Haley Joel Osment, Robert Duvall. <laughs> <laughs> sort of his big follow-up to The Sixth Sense. Ah, I have a question. Uh -huh. What's that about? Second-hand lions? Yeah. And I why is it called that? I think it's about how um, they got some lions at like a thrift, a Goodwill a store. thrift store. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One of those thrift stores that sells exotic pets and they got they got a few of those. But yeah. let's be honest, if you're gonna if you're gonna get a pet, adopt. Yeah. I think that was the right thing to do. Yeah, they did the right thing as far as <laughs> didn't get purebred. Yeah, bread. you don't want to get a purebred uh, lion <laughs> from a breeder, you know. Yeah. That's just you know morally that's nice. wrong. Yeah. Uh, but I wanted to chat with people because we learned uh, a few things this week that I think was helpful at uh, the travel convention that we went to. Yeah, we were at TravelCon 2021. Yep. Um, and uh, this year it was in Omaha, Nebraska. Yep. Uh, they try to have TravelCon in places that you wouldn't usually uh, care to travel to. Mm -hmm. um, uh, you know, not that there's anything wrong with Omaha. It's just we haven't sent a lot of people there, you know? No, no. In fact, I checked the records. We haven't sent anyone there. Yeah, we haven't sent anyone to Omaha. Um. And, and we have sent people to, you know, like uh, a Polish uh, muscle clown camp, stuff like that. Right. Very off the grid yeah, very is what you're saying. Yeah. So, like, even more off the grid than that we've gone yeah, to. Yeah, it's just we haven't still... really gotten any Bright Eyes fans or college baseball fans yet that, right. uh, that might have a reason. Or zoo fans because Omaha is a nice zoo. Um, but yeah, we were at TravelCon 2021 yep. in and Omaha. We got, a, we got a booth there, mm -hmm. uh, and that was that was great. Um, we got to uh, meet a lot of great potential clients, um, and uh, I think we, we learned quite a bit from the the person in the booth across from us. Uh, yeah. And that was what not to do. Am I right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Because their their whole shtick was about incorporating technology into travel. Yeah, they were like uh, you know talking about how efficient their booking process is and. Uh, how you can just do it all online. You don't have to go to an in-person, mm -hmm. you know, store like storefront like what we have our office here. Yeah, it was interesting. One, the, one of their big like selling points, quote unquote, I'll quote it because I didn't think it was a selling point, uh, yeah. was no need for in-person consultation. And right across from them on, on ours was only takes in-person yeah. consultations. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, our, we had a big sign that said we don't have a website. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And people were like, why don't you have a website? It's 2021. And you're like, uh, because we're right here. Yeah. What do you, why do you need a website? You're talking to me now, ma'am. Yeah. It, it, if it'll help you, you can sort of tickle my tummy like you're typing on keys. <laughs> you can go tick, tack, tick, 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 tick. And then I'll stand behind Keith and I'll go beep, 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 beep. Uh, you're, you're at the Keith, uh, you know, you're at the travel agency website right now. Yeah. And you can, what do you want? You can grab Damon's foot and use it like a computer mouse. Uh huh. Kind of move it around. Uh huh. If that'll make you feel better. If that'll make you feel better, you can do that. Yeah. Um, and she didn't like that. So she's not probably going to work with us. But um, no. I think it was an eye opening experience for us because I think we found out a lot of people, uh, they just they need that personal touch that they're just not getting right now. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So that was interesting. Um, I also. Um, 
hooked up while we were at the travel con. What? Yeah, it's a kind of a big deal for me since I've been taking a while to get over your sister, Jennifer Product. Yeah. My ex-wife. Tell um, us more. Well, basically what happened was um, I was uh, swimming laps mm -hmm. in the hotel pool. Right. And uh, this woman came in and said, uh, the pool's closed. Mm -hmm. And I said, what do you mean? She said, well, it's two in the morning and the lights are off. And the sign out front says and the sign pool's out closed. Front said closed and the door to the pool is locked. <laughs> and the window next to it is broken. Yeah. <laughs> And I said, okay, but other than that, what do you mean by the pool is closed? And she said, there's nothing other than that. That is, that's pretty much all I the information that, was that more could than possibly enough. indicate that it's closed. <laughs> and um, so, I, but I could tell that she thought like, okay, this is kind of a bad boy. You know, mm -hmm. so he's, he's just broken through a window to swim laps at two in the morning in a pitch, uh, pitch dark indoor <laughs> pool. Um, and so then we got to talking, uh -huh, you know, uh -huh. um, I was kind of talking about like, Hey, what's your deal? Like, are you single? And she was more interested in talking about like, how are you going to pay for the window? Right. You know, this right. Is gonna Do go, you even uh, stay here? Yeah. Are you even staying here? Or do you have, and, um, which is basically asking you for your room number. Yeah. And that, and I so mean, I gave it to her. Wolf. I gave it to her. Nice. Uh, and, uh, then, um, yeah, then I went to sleep. <laughs> Hey man, <laughs> proud of you. <laughs> yeah, and I, uh, I I noticed that uh, on the bill uh, that we had to charge for about a uh, five hundred dollars. That's what that was. Broken window. Yeah, that's and, what that was. Okay. And uh, I could tell that that was sort of a you know she was sort of like a wink, sort of an inside joke because like she had said like this is going to cost you five hundred dollars. Oh, so sort of like an inside joke okay. that we had like the you know five hundred dollars kind of being like you know when you're early on flirting with someone mm -hmm. and kind of have these little inside jokes. Yeah, five hundred dollars like, is your thing. Now. Yeah, that was real, and just the fact that she committed to the bit by. Uh, charging and then uh, following up quite a few times to make sure that, uh, that, that I paid it. Um, yeah. Wow. It wow, was, uh, man. It sounds it like crazy. a promising budding young relationship. Yeah. And you know, we're going to be maybe long distance for a while. As she uh, sends you notices as she to pay the bill. continues to send me notices to pay the, <laughs> pay the bill. Um, but I'm feeling good, man. I'm feeling Long distance good. can work. Uh, I think you can make it work. I believe in you. Yeah. That's Ophelia in Omaha. She's a, uh, she's beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> Well, um, look, great to catch up. Yeah. Um, I, I, I think that was super helpful for us to let our listeners know everything that we did and mm. we found out because we want to give you guys the personal touch. We yeah. don't want to just come on here and book a perfect trip yeah. for a client. We want to let you guys know that we're human. Yeah. We do things. Mm -hmm. Like hook up. Like hook up. <laughs> like what? that hot <laughs> hookup that you just heard about. Yeah, I hooked up in a pool pretty hot. <laughs> right? Yeah, and the hookup there was, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, she she grabbed the um, the net to pull you out of there. Yeah, the she got up. the skimming net, which I don't think you really need for an indoor pool, but they had one, <laughs> a pool skimmer, and she skimmed me out of the pool. Yeah. And yeah, that was just like the most intimate thing that I've ever done with a woman, including my ex-wife. <laughs> so it felt pretty good. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we have another great client that we want to get to. Yes. Um, and uh, send them uh, eventually on their way to the vacation of their dreams. Absolutely. So we're going to take a short little break, and then we'll be right back with our, our next guest on Destination Passport. Passport. Welcome back to Destination Passport. Passport. And uh, we are, what was that? I was just trying to add something else, like destination passport. Uh, yeah, it needs something else. It needs some sort of like, uh, you know, it, it needs someone, something that sounds like the predator. <laughs> That's all I was trying to bring yeah. to it. That's all. It doesn't need necessarily like a destination passport. Do, 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 do. That's not what I was yeah, going for. I was going that. for like a like a like an eerie like clicking of yeah, the tongue like a behind, clicking or a rattle, like something's like gonna kill you ominous. from behind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We because need that. what we do is. People who have ominous shit going on in their lives, we get them away from that. Exactly. You know? Exactly. And so we're sort of ratcheting up the tension with like. Yeah. 
and then saving them. You're so right. I hadn't thought about this before. We help people run from their problems. Yeah, we do. <laughs> we do. And what a service to provide. Yeah. Because at first I was thinking we help uh, kind of destroy that uh, ominous thing. behind. But mm-hmm. we don't do that. No, no. That's going to be the there. Hell out of that's there. very much still going to be there. Absolutely. When, when they, they get, get back, back, it's going to be there. Woof. And it might yeah. be worse. Yeah. Uh, because it, maybe because it grew. Because they avoided it. Yeah. <laughs> and they avoided it. So they're maybe like um, expecting it a little bit yeah. less. But there's so many people out there. If anyone ever says, I can help you solve your problem, even if it's a trusted friend or family member or somebody whose job it is to solve a specific problem, don't believe them. No. Okay? Run. Run. Come to, run to us. From that problem, that new problem of the person who says they're going to help you solve the problem. <laughs> run from that problem to us, and we'll help you run from all the other the problems original problem. that they yep. were trying to solve. Exactly. And lying about solving. And that's just what we do, and we're yeah. excited to do that today yes. with our guests. We have another lovely another great client. guest, client, and hopefully future friend. Hopefully Very future near friend. future. Yeah, I was going to say, future being 20 minutes? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe? <laughs> hopefully. Hopefully. But not any sooner than that. We need no. to get to know them. Yeah, we need to get to know them first. We, uh, we, we take this very seriously. <laughs> um, so uh, let's give a big bird product travel agency welcome to today's guest, Casey Gallagher. Hey. Hey, Casey. Hey, how you Casey. doing? Hey, thank, thank you so much for having me. <laughs> oh, my God. Thank you for reaching out to us. Uh, yeah. We are so stoked to have you, quote unquote, really just to book the trip of your dreams. Yeah, I, yeah. yeah no, I'm, I'm, so, I'm so excited. I'm ready. I'm ready to, uh, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to travel. <laughs> I'm ready to get out there. You Good. seem, yeah, you seem like you seem a little nervous too. Are you uh, feeling a little nervous no. there about about this? No, no, I'm I'm ready. Like I said, um, <laughs> okay. You sound more nervous. It's, yeah. Uh, Is that bringing up that you're nervous, making you more nervous? No, I, no I, I'm not nervous at all. And just stop asking me about. it. Okay. All right. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. We don't want to make anyone nervous or uncomfortable, which you're not. I'm not uh, nervous. As you said, I'm you're not nervous. Right. Or uncomfortable. I'm fully comfortable. And since and you're I'm ready to travel and I'm ready to go, I'm ready to see the world. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Since perfect. you're not nervous, we won't make you nervous. Yeah. 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 We won't make you nervous, um, and we won't bring up how nervous you obviously never, are. Uh, never nervous. I'm not nervous. <laughs> yeah. I'm ready good. To go, ready, to, ready, ready. I'm ready to go. Good. 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 Yeah. Great. Fantastic. Well, that's that's exactly what we're here to do: is help you go where you go. 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 Yeah. Uh, you sound ready to travel. Ready to go. And what do we do? We go. 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 And we travel. 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 People. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, uh, if you don't mind, tell us a little bit more about yourself and why you might be looking to go, go, go. Um, well, I was, um, I was, I was raised in. Um, well, this is embarrassing. I was, I was raised in Omaha, Nebraska. Oh, Omaha, <laughs> Omaha. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, and um, I know, I know that y- y- you guys said that you don't send anybody there, but I would just like to plug that Omaha is a great travel destination. Okay, there's not in our experience as travel agents, but sure. Uh, okay. <laughs> Um, and you know, I, 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 I just graduated high school and, oh, wow. um, congratulations. Thank you so much. I yeah. had a 4.0 GPA. Congratulations. Wow. Even more. Out of, out of how much GPA though? Four. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, with AP classes, I think you can get like 4.8 or yeah. something crazy now. They don't have AP in Omaha. Oh. Okay, great. <laughs> it hasn't reached Omaha yet, not the yet. AP courses. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> Um, and you know, I, there's not a lot to it's experience in Omaha, even though it is a fabulous travel destination. Uh-huh. Really, um, yeah. Okay, well, and I, I just wanna, I wanna do something big. I wanna, I wanna prove to, to my family and to my friends that I can do something, and I, and I wanna go travel and maybe, maybe work, maybe work abroad or something. Oh, oh. interesting. So you're yeah. looking to, to prove to people. Is that because like you specifically, you don't feel respected, or are you just saying maybe generally Omaha sucks? Uh, and nobody good comes from there, so or goes to there, or yeah, goes to for there. Travel con, which is sort of like a test of of wills, like yeah. to even go through the the terrible process of being mm-hmm. in Omaha. Which I think the reason now now that I think about it, that they do that is just so that like relative to that, you know, travel outside of this is going to yeah. be way better. Yeah, it's gonna it's sort of like when baseball uh, our baseball segment when you have that uh, like weight that donut on your bat in yeah. the batter circle yeah. and you're warming up and then it's the bat's going to feel lighter. Omaha is, is that. The the baseball donut, donut of the world. Yep. Yeah. I don't know how to answer that. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't really a question. Well, I guess back to the original question was, um, are you looking to like you know bring a name to, to to Omaha and someone from Omaha? That's what you mean by getting out in the world, or more like your yeah. family specifically? They don't respect you, and you want to prove to them that you can. Mm, it's more my family. They expect me to, you know. Go to the community college and and with the four point oh with the four point well what else is there in <laughs> Omaha? <laughs> there's University of Nebraska. Omaha. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. There's Creighton. Yeah, there's Creighton. Even, like, wow. What Creighton University in Omaha? I've never heard of it. <laughs> 
So you, I, I assume you didn't take a class on local colleges because you would not have gotten a 4.0. <laughs> what? Welcome back, everyone, to local colleges. <laughs> Your intro course to yeah. colleges around where we are. <laughs> yeah, just the history and uh, yeah, Current everything about of... uh, local colleges. That was a class I took in high school, and I aced it. Wow, congratulations. Yeah, I knew everything about the local colleges. Their uh, mascots, colors. Sport, oh, you went in deep. Sport team records, yeah. That's fantastic. Um, but that, it sounds like they don't offer that, uh, just no. like they don't offer AP classes. Tr- yeah, my, no, my parents wouldn't approve of me going anywhere else. Interesting. Yeah. Do they have anything else? That, like, like you're making me want, like think about what kind of classes you did have and how restricted you were. Like, did math reach Omaha yet? What kind of classes did you were you able to take? Absolutely. Well, I did take um, remedial math, uh, algebra. I did not reach, mm-hmm. but that was that was my own uh, misgivings. <laughs> um, we did have bread making. <laughs> <laughs> that kind. very good. Some grammar. <laughs> some grammar. Some grammar. <laughs> the class was called some grammar. Some, some grammar. Is there a more advanced class called some more grammar? <laughs> well, I suppose if you really wanted to get into the semantics of it, there could be. Is there a semantics class? <laughs> oh no. Yeah, that seems a that's, little that's advanced. Yeah, hard. that'd be a college course. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, for sure. really, that's at the community college. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Omaha CC? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Go Bucks. <laughs> Omaha, Omaha what kind of Bucks? bucks. I'm, uh, not, not Buckeyes. Mm, no. And not like deer? No, it's Bucks as in like a, a slang for dollar bills. <laughs> <laughs> Their mascot is just a little dollar. <laughs> Go Bucks. Wow. wow. That's really cute. <laughs> Adorable. Yeah. <laughs> so you're looking to get out there. Yeah, I just want to go maybe see the world, maybe get some hands-on experience outside of yeah. outside of bread making and out and some remedial algebra. Yeah. And some grammar. And some grammar. And, and are you looking at this as sort of like a gap year before you uh, move on to the real world of Omaha CC, go Bucks? Yeah, yeah, we'll see. I mean, hopefully, maybe I'll, you know, find someone there. Not find someone, but maybe you know, find, find a, find a, Find a, find, a, find, a, find a group of friends. And maybe. you're not and nervous. A, I'm not nervous. <laughs> you could find someone. There, yeah. yeah, anyone could find someone. I wouldn't rule that someone. out. Yeah. I'm not, I'm, it's not that I'm looking for someone. I'm just like, if I found someone, I'd be okay. Yeah. Well, sometimes you find someone when you're not looking. I wasn't looking for Jennifer. <laughs> she was not looking for me at all, certainly. Now she you're was looking avo- for she her. She was trying to avoid me. Yeah. I wasn't looking for her. She was trying to avoid me actively, and yeah. we still ended up getting married. Yeah. Yeah. So anything's possible. Mazel. Yeah. And so I think to your point, you know, sometimes when you're least expecting it or mm. looking for it, it'll find you. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, you know, that's not that's not the yeah, that's not what I'm really looking for. I just want the world experience and to, yeah. to, 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 to prove maybe mainly to myself that I'm more than I'm more than Omaha. <laughs> I'm more than what I'm more than what my parents say. Mm-hmm. I'm more than a buck. <laughs> I could be maybe a five dollar bill. Five, yeah. yeah You're you worth could, more than a buck. Yeah, you could go like uh, move to Des Moines and go to the Des Moines Community College where their mascots the Fivers. <laughs> that would be insane. Can <laughs> <laughs> you imagine? Well, you got to be careful about that Des Moines water, though. If you if you do end up in Des Moines, yeah. uh, a few weeks ago we had a, a guest whose dad drank too much Des Moines water and really had to pee. <laughs> That's right. I heard of that. That was in the papers. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> really, yeah. It, was a, it was big news. That reached Omaha. Now, so you have a little bit of experience with some of the things you learned in school, bread making, some grammar, stuff like that. Um, is there anything in particular that you're hoping to do out in the world, something that you can't get in Omaha, Omaha that maybe you've you've snuck onto maybe the one computer with internet in Omaha and, and <laughs> looked it up and, <laughs> and, and found out about something else that you could do out in the world? I would love to see a cow. <laughs> a cow? And, Omaha and you haven't has seen any cows in Omaha? <laughs> Never seen a cow. Wow. So you must have just stayed in like the middle of Omaha, <laughs> just like the most urban makes part. Makes you wonder about that. Yeah, not knowing about the universities as well. <laughs> You didn't have a basic farm animals class, I guess. No. <laughs> Again, that would be at the community college. Yeah. yeah. I would so, love to see a cow. I would love to, uh, you know, just any animals would do. Uh-huh. We had a newt growing up. There is a zoo in Omaha also. Pretty well, um, well-known zoo. Not that we've ever sent someone there because right. just yeah. send them to San Diego. But uh, right. Omaha is a well-regarded zoo. I feel like you're making all of this up. <laughs> 
<laughs> wow. You know, you're no, starting to, I'm starting to gain a greater appreciation for Omaha. Like talking to someone who's lived in Omaha their whole life and yeah. doesn't know about any of the like four or five things that are worth seeing in Omaha. I don't know what you want from me. <laughs> I don't want anything. I came, just, yeah. I came to you guys for help traveling, and and I just want I, I, I just want to see a cow. Okay, 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 yeah. okay. You're getting very. I wouldn't say nervous. Maybe more just like despondent. I just feel like maybe it's not in the cards for me. This what? whole traveling thing. No, 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 no. no. We, hey, we're we're the dealers, okay? <laughs> we're the dealers, and we're gonna deal you a good hand, okay? And it's <laughs> very much gonna be in the cards, okay? And when you get to the river, and when you get to the turn, you're gonna have a full house. <laughs> you're just talking nonsense <laughs> at this point. <laughs> look, you're. We're gonna look. It sounds like you're kind of doubting travel, which mm-hmm. uh, I'm excited that we get to share with with people that, that might be listening because this happens with clients from time to time. It yeah, hasn't happened get, on air yet, but yeah. sometimes people get cold feet. Mm-hmm. It happens all the time in yeah. every aspect of life, including travel. And yeah. we're here to talk you out of your fears. Yeah. So what's 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 making you uh, so fearful? Is it how we're treating you? <laughs> <laughs> it's mainly. How do airplanes work? <laughs> mm-hmm. that's, okay, that's interesting. That's the first okay. thing. The second thing, money <laughs> in other places. Okay. Don't know it. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. okay. I wrote those down. Anything Third, else that we need to cover? Mm-hmm. I only know some grammar. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm not going to do yeah. well overseas. And can I just ask, I would imagine, since it's just some grammar, that it's not some from multiple languages. It's all some from English. It's only some from Omaha, right? <laughs> some Just the Omaha, just the Omaha, Omaha, Omaha variant correct, of English. Yeah. Correct. <laughs> so you only speak Omaha. Well, what is an example of maybe <laughs> a, 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 like a grammar thing that us as non-Omaha uh, English speakers... Uh, would be sort of interesting or new to us. Oh, you know, uh, when 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 you see a when you when you're making bread rather, and mm-hmm. and uh, it really gets to rise, and then you see, whoa! <laughs> you ever you, you know? Uh huh. Yeah. So that's it. So you know that? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Sure. That is a reaction you could have to seeing bread rise. Sure. So that's. So that's it. So that's not. Just an Omaha That's thing. That's not just an Omaha. Oh, I was uh, just imagining. I was, I was thinking. I don't know. You correct me, Keith. I was just thinking, like, oh, I could imagine how somebody would do that. Yeah, I guess I was a little bit hung up on um, how is that grammar? That's not even a word. <laughs> what? <laughs> She's going, oh, that's not really Whoa. a grammatical thing, you know. It's well, I could spell it for you. Okay, you sure. Like. Yeah, if you could. Do you have a pen and paper? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Here, here you go. go. Oh. I think she might just be spelling Omaha. <laughs> Ew. Uh, no, no, not anymore. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I I can't I can't perform okay. under pressure. That's a this, rainbow. Yeah, it looks like you're kind of writing handwriting wingdings. <laughs> is a little bit. It's, I only took some grammar. <laughs> You know, not, may have been part of that. Yeah, we, when we were just in Omaha, there were a few, uh, quite a few signs that I just could not read at all. Um, yeah, and I think those might have been wing. <laughs> Omaha wingdings might be one of the primary languages spoken in Omaha. Yeah, I think that might be it. Wait, spoken? Does it sound different? Yeah. Well, when I was talking to Ophelia, um, every now and then, because she was trying to like, you know, I, get I think you out of the pool. Yeah, she was trying to get me out <laughs> of the pool, and you know, I think sometimes she slipped into that Omaha accent, that Omaha uh, uh, dialect, where she was like, "Get out of the pool, get out of the pool." Uh, picture of waves. Picture of. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Picture of life uh, mm-hmm. preserver. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, picture of a- angry skull. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's when she was getting really frustrated mm-hmm. with me. Um, then she said a uh, picture of a uh, plane flying into two pictures of tall buildings, which you can make with wingdings. Mm-hmm. Wow. Uh, that's when she was really, she was so mad she was going to 9-11 me. <laughs> that's, uh, but that, that was just sort of our like flirtation. You sure. Know? Like, another, that's how we were. Another little inside joke. A little inside joke. Out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's that's fascinating. Yeah, okay. So Omaha is just like has levels to it that I never even could have imagined. It's a breadth of culture. <laughs> a breadth of culture. A yeah. breadth of culture. But you're looking to get some sort of culture outside of that, including a cow. At, um, at least one cow. Mm-hmm. I'd love <laughs> okay. to, you know, walk in a field, 
see some corn, perhaps. Uh-huh. Sure. Um, <laughs> yeah, again, this all seems like stuff hey, that's uh, very uh, accessible. Do you mind if I pull Keith aside for a second here? Uh, yeah, yeah. No, absolutely. Hey, hey, Keith, I just got a real question. Uh-huh. Yeah. Do you think maybe we just take her to another part of Nebraska? Yeah, that might be re- <laughs> that really easy. Yeah, like, that might be the really easy thing just seems like a lot of do. these things are things that are very accessible yeah. to someone in Omaha right now. Yeah. And that maybe this person just has barely left their home. Is that the issue? That might. I'm worried that she might be in a Joseph Fritzl situation. <laughs> In her house, held prisoner in her own home. Okay. Well, I just wanted to sidebar and like keep that in mind. I don't want to plan the yeah, trip yeah, already. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, okay. All right. Yeah. <clears throat> um, hey. So we were just kind of discussing more, and 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 we'll get to, to some of the specifics later. But I did want to address some of these fears you had. Mm-hmm. Um, number one was you don't know how planes work. Absolutely not. Um, mm-hmm. So what level of detail are you looking yeah. for here? Because. <laughs> There's a whole yeah. There's a whole physics area. type explanation, which I assume you didn't have physics. No, they don't believe in that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, if I'm if I'm to get on a plane, I just would appreciate to to know how it happens mm-hmm. uh-huh. and how that the boarding, boarding process. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we can explain that. Yeah, let's we walk you through. Very I just familiar. want to know what yeah. to expect. Absolutely. Let's walk you through that. Okay. So let's say you, you've already gotten into um, the boarding area. Yeah. Right. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going you're gonna to sit at one of the many available seats mm-hmm. um, near where you will board the airplane. Um, if you need to go pee, go pee. If you yeah, need to get a snack, get a snack. Nearby. Yeah, there are snacks nearby. Um, but then what the, uh, what do they call them? Not the hostess. Uh, um, I always call them... Uh, <laughs> the p- <laughs> people that get you on the plane. I always call them my gate buddy. Gate buddy. Because they're there for you. You know, you can always go up to your gate buddy and say, hey, you know, I really got to go pee. You know, uh, where can I go pee? And they're like, well, there's bathrooms. Yep. It's like, okay, that's good to know. You know, it's like, that's something a buddy will do for you. It's telling you where the bathroom is. Exactly. So they travel with you, these buddies. They stay, but the they, they stay at the gate. Mm-hmm. But then when you land, there's another buddy right there. Yep. At that and what gate. happens in between? You're alone. There's a flight buddy. There's a flight buddy. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. There are uh, several flight buddies. Several flight yeah. buddies. They'll walk up and down the aisles, make mm. sure that you're okay. You can ask them any questions you may have or yeah. raise any issues you may have with them. Yeah. Um, and you have a pilot buddy. Pilot buddy, yeah. I mean, how, does that clear up everything you needed? Or do you have more fears? So, I mean, do I have more fears? Absolutely. <laughs> about about the plane. Okay. Maybe not. So you know how you're sitting on a chair in the boarding area? The no. Seat? Okay. Well, you are. You are. <laughs> okay. And then when they say, time to get on the plane... You'll go yeah, up to the, your gate buddy. And they do. They say, they say, excuse me, everyone, time to get on the plane. <laughs> okay. That's how you'll know. Okay. Yeah, that's how you'll know. Okay. Then you have them scan your ticket, which might be on your phone, might be a physical ticket. Well, you print it out. That. You don't have a phone? No, absolutely not. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> print out a ticket then. Okay. Yeah, you'll need to print out a ticket. Um, you can do that at the airport. Okay. Um, and then you will basically uh, single file walk onto the plane. And then you might have an assigned seat, or if it's Southwest, mm-hmm. you'll choose a seat. Uh, and basically, you're going from seat to seat. So you go from the seat at the gate to the seat on the plane, and then when you you're on the seat on the plane for a number of minutes yep. or hours <laughs> or days, days, and then you will um, get off, stand up from the seat. So you'll no longer once you land. That's important. Yeah. And did you know that the plane goes in the air? I think I I think I don't want to do this anymore. What? Okay. Okay. Let, we don't have to fly. Don't have to fly. Travel happens by many mediums. Yeah, planes, trains, automobiles, boats, jet skis. That's it. Dog sleds. Dog sleds. We just added dog sled trips. I got to talk to my mom about that one. (laughs) Yeah, do you get out of the house much? Define out of the house. Leaving it. Yeah, leaving it, not being inside of it. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have a big backyard. (laughs) Is the backyard indoors? And below it? (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> do you go down a set of stairs? Do you open a door inside your house, go down a set of stairs? Is that your backyard? <laughs> well, only for the recreational hours. <laughs> you re- so it sounds like almost like a prison. Like, yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't call it that. <laughs> you know, we well, get some sunshine. Some sunshine. We get some, we get, there's a greenhouse, and, I, and I, we grow some fruit. Okay. Uh, and on Sundays, you know, we go to church. Uh-huh. Where's the church? And the church is inside of your home or no? It's a, it's attached, <laughs> so it's not necessarily inside. Can I ask you a question? Is your father a preacher at that church? Defined preacher. 
<laughs> sort of the leader, yeah. yeah. Kind, of the, some, one, a kind of the guy that stands the up there and says stuff to everyone else. Yeah, he stands up. Okay. And says stands stuff. up and says stuff. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, now I'm starting to wonder about the school that you went to. Yeah, I am as well. Um, was it attached to that or was it in the church? Oh, yeah, I was inside. I was inside the church. <laughs> okay. All right. So you're. Br- is you know, classes like bread making, some grammar, or any other classes that were maybe a little more unusual? Oh, gosh, let's see. There was um, the sewing class. Uh-huh. There was um, sure. the, the, you know, like every other kid's, the rapture. <laughs> okay, it stopped right there. <laughs> that's, that's kind of what I was wondering, yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> And even the sewing, I'm wondering yeah, what, what kind were of things you were you sewing? Yeah. Was this uh, you know usual things like um, dresses, bibs, gas masks? Okay, <laughs> sewing some gas masks <laughs> together. That's interesting. That's interesting. Because those will seal, right? If you sew those it, those will seal if you sew it. <laughs> if you're a good enough uh, seamstress, seamstress or seamster, yeah, and you it could definitely seems sew that. this is person the case. might be <laughs> this is the case might be a good yeah. enough seamstress. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. okay. Wow. Okay. Yeah, this my is mind is opening here. Just getting a better image of your your life. Yeah. And would you say that your parents are your parents, or <laughs> <laughs> maybe people who I don't know kidnapped you and indoctrinated you into this? Um, I don't want to say cult. I but do cult. Well, it's you know there's mother and father, but there's also grandmaster. And... Okay, that's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> and and when you were younger, I don't even know if you remember this, but <clears throat> did they sit you down at one point and say, you call us mother, you call him father? Did they say that to you? Well, it always just kind of was. I don't really remember a, a defining moment, but, um, you know, everybody else does call them mother and father. Um, uh-huh. uh, you know, even the new people that do join. <laughs> join. Um, join. Are those, what do you mean by that? Is that your brother and sister's? Was this? Well, I wouldn't call them that, but, you know, colloquially, sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh huh. Interesting. Interesting. So joining, do they live with you? Yeah, it's it's a, you know it's a big place, but <laughs> we all do like to snuggle. We share beds and you know <laughs> have fun. Interesting. <laughs> okay. What kind of things do you guys do to have fun? Well, like I said, we have recreational hours mm-hmm. uh, uh-huh. in the backyard, which sounds like a basement yeah. to, to sun, everyone listening. It definitely is a basement. Yeah. <laughs> we you know we read, we sing songs. Okay, what do you read? <laughs> Well, sometimes we, we, we write books. You write, write books. books. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> and can I just say, only trained in some grammar to write a book? <laughs> yeah. Wow. That's pretty impressive, Talent. which I only have some of your grammar under you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Well, you know, it's a, it's a good mix of uh, pictures and, <laughs> and um, pictographs and, uh-huh. uh, and words. But we try. We try our best. Is this like f- free expression? Like you just go write your own books? Or is this like passed down to you as far as like what you should be writing about? Well, yeah. We, we are told the stories. Okay. Of, is this of writing or is this transcribing? <laughs> are you transcribing? The word of God. The word of, the word of God as... <laughs> as a spake by we the are, Grandmaster. We are, yeah, you know, the Grandmaster does have his visions. And, uh, <laughs> and you write the books. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. We, write, we write the books. It's interesting. Because the Grandmaster can't write them himself. Them oh, and you have one with you here. You're pulling it out. Yeah, oh, no, yeah, I, I do bring one. Uh, wow, okay. Everywhere. Thanks. Oh, yeah, you just wanted us to. Wow. That is full of pictures. Wow. Mm-hmm. Vivid. Yeah, it looks like you're sewing something else there. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you're sewing uh, someone's mouth shut, and the caption here says uh, "blasphemers punishment." Yeah, blasphemers punishment. <laughs> well, you know, naturally. <laughs> naturally, I mean, what else? You know, if you if you are blasphemous to uh-huh. the grandmaster or anyone above him, you know, for that matter. <laughs> yeah. You know? There's someone above the. That's grandmaster. what I'm wondering. Is that just God? <laughs> Who's above the grandmaster? Well. Yeah, I'm, I'm not privy to that knowledge yet. Oh, um, okay. You're still working your way out. Yeah. So I'm gonna get into the C org <laughs> for that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I got, got him in the C suite of the. What, what, what would you call this organization, or what, what is it called? I guess. <laughs> home. Home. <laughs> you know, it's just home. It's just home to her. Is that an acronym? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the holy organization of most everyone. <laughs> Wow, <laughs> they have quite a lofty goal, uh, conversion-wise, I guess. <laughs> Most everyone. Most everyone. <laughs> That's a fun thing to think about, is like what 
segment of the population is most everyone. Like, how yeah. big is most everyone? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's very in, well, in at least in, sixteen in, now. You know, <laughs> you got sixteen, 16 members. 16, yeah, sixteen. Wow. wow. And you said you sing songs. Could you sing one of those songs for us? No, oh, I could. I could. I don't want to waste your time. Oh no, it wouldn't be wasting our time. It'll help us give it, plan your vacation for you. Which now I'm very skeptical whether you'll be able to go on it. <laughs> Yeah. And I mean, yeah. if it would make you feel better, like if you have lyrics, like we could sing it with you. Yeah. Well, that w- I mean, you know, I, w- I wouldn't want you to feel uncomfortable with the, you know, with the, with the subject matter. Well, you brought your hymnal. And so I did, I did bring, you know, I, like I said, I bring them with me everywhere. So, <laughs> you know, it is, it is a, it is a responsorial psalm. It's interesting. Hymnal is spelled capital H-I-M hyphen null. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, how well? I don't know why that's okay, interesting. No, no, no. Sure, yeah. sure, sure, sure. Just, just yeah. must be, that just must be that Omaha English. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Um, okay. Well, this, well, this one's my favorite. This is the one that we, this is the one that we sing. Uh, you know, during the recreational time, when okay. it's particularly Great. sunny. <laughs> in the base, in the basement. <laughs> well, when the sun, you know, streams through the through the crack of the um, of the window. <laughs> I was, I was just thinking they turn on more lights when it's sunnier. <laughs> okay. All right. Sorry. <clears throat> okay. I put myself there mentally. I'm okay, ready. Okay. And what what is this hymn called? Um, oh, he who shines on high. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Love it. All right. <clears throat> oh, he who shines on high. He us so. You might pause him right there. You might pause him right there. <laughs> he gives us his fruit. Beautiful fruit. Okay, I just yeah, I, yeah, I, I yeah. couldn't I couldn't make that last one out. I'm, I apologize. That's why. I <laughs> okay, that's and my favorite. A I, lovely I'm, little ditty. I'm, I'm kind of looking ahead. Do you mind if I sing this next verse? <laughs> Please, I'd be honored. <laughs> just take a crack at it. Please I've been speak. taking voice lessons. Keith, I know. Um, okay. <clears throat> If you say that Creighton is a university, we will sew your lips together. Yeah, yeah you got it. <laughs> wow. Picture of a plane, picture of a tower, <laughs> picture of another tower. That's beautiful. Oh, I Fantastic. I, I guess I'll just take it from there <laughs> yeah, with the next verse. Funny. Okay. <clears throat> Cows are not real, they do not exist. <laughs> do not go searching for them, you will not exist. Wow. Wow. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Would you say this is your favorite part of, of being part of home, is uh, the, the singing? The singing, yeah. Because you have, a, I must say, a beautiful oh, voice. Oh, thank you Gorgeous. so much, thank you. Yeah, I yeah. do love leading, leading the hymns and, and leading, mm. leading the other children in song, you know. Uh-huh. It's, it's, a, it's a pleasure, it's a pleasure. Yeah, yeah. Wow. We can tell. Beautiful voice. Thank beautiful you, voice, you. beautiful lyrics. Yeah. yeah. Who, who wrote I, that? I was going to say, the artist is God, right? Well, I'm not a... I'm not at a privilege to say that. <laughs> you don't have that. That you're, you're I not don't have that, that information. Yeah. It, you know, it was it was foretold by the Grand Master. <laughs> foretold. <laughs> it was foretold that you, so you know that you wouldn't would, be able to tell that us. I wouldn't be able to. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We well, you know most songs it says like by or artist. Mm-hmm. This is foretold by. Yeah, foretold by. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Foretold, foretold by, by the Grand, Grand Master. Master. Transcribed by Casey Gallagher. Casey Gallagher. <laughs> yeah. Originated from God. Yeah. <laughs> That's all the metadata on that song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, wow. So I think we have a lot to work with. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. Wow, okay. I really, um, I'm really curious to see where we go with this. Um, I think it's going to be interesting to get you out of there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That might be part of the trip is like how we can get you to leave this um, home. Um, So Keith, yeah, anything coming to mind? Um, Yeah, so, um, you know, I think I think there are a couple different directions we can go with this, but uh, I'm thinking that we could do uh, the um, up in the air locations tour. Um, up in the air, of course, 2009 film directed by Jason Reitman, starring George Clooney and uh, Anna Kendrick. Um, and uh, you know, he lives, quote unquote, in Omaha, but he's always traveling. Right, mm. he's always up in the air. Good guy. Even. 
<laughs> and uh, when he's uh, going, flying around, doing his job of firing people, uh, he goes to uh, many different locations and kind of discovers himself. Wow. And he sort of um, finds that maybe he should fire himself. Whoa. From himself. Himself. <laughs> And I think maybe that's kind of what you need. You need to sort of be up in the air. You know, you've been very much not up in the air. You've been about as far away from up in the air as you could possibly be. Yeah. Right. Uh, and so I think that this will get you out there, you know, flying to Cedar Rapids, flying to Grand Rapids, flying to, uh, you know, Salt Lake City, um, Chicago. There's, of course, a scene uh, where he goes to Chicago and uh, because he has this kind of ongoing uh, uh, relationship with another, uh, with a businesswoman played by, I um, uh, can't remember her name, but she's a, she's a prominent actor as well. Uh, and then she, he finds out that she has a family and all that. Um, you guys seen Up in the Air? Nope. <laughs> Never seen it, Keith. I, 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 well, that's no. when we were trying out. We, I don't think we've told you yet. We try out everything that we uh, suggest, suggest, recommend, book. So uh, we've done this. When we were doing that, you sort of you might you don't even need to see it because we went to all the locations, we went to right. all of the residence inns. If the, the movie kind of was what if if the movie was what we did on that trip, then I've basically seen it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we we went from like extended stay, uh, like business hotel to extended stay business hotel, mm -hmm. largely around the Midwest, also kind of branching out into the coast a little bit. Um, but yeah, so basically, you know, you'll get to see what it's like to go to all of these different. Um, you know, Marriott, uh, uh, Holiday Inn Expresses, things like that. Um, and I think in the process, you know, you'll be able to see a cow, you know, because oftentimes on the way from the airport to, uh, to the hotel, you'll drive by a field. So I think that'll, that, that's mm -hmm, a very, mm -hmm. that's a definite possibility. That would be amazing. Oh yeah. <laughs> and honestly, you know, I'm going to throw this in. This wasn't part of it. We'll ha so we'll have to test this out right before you, you know, we'll have to go to Omaha again. Um, but um, I think I'm going to throw in, just to help you out, a tour of the, lo the Omaha locations from <laughs> up in the air. Because usually we try and get them away from Omaha get as quickly out of there. as possible. Yeah. But, you know, so you'll go to the sort of um, sad, uh, bare studio apartment that George Clooney's character lives in. Um, yeah, and so, you know, I think you'll get a, a, a taste of Omaha. Uh, which I think is as much as you need. You don't really need a full meal. And then you'll <laughs> you'll just be going uh, around the country kind of experiencing what George Clooney and Anna Kendrick's character is experiencing up in the air. And maybe you'll be able to um, fire yourself from, from home if that's what you want to do, if you want to branch out. Or you can come back and apply some of the business principles that you learned <laughs> <laughs> talking to people at these various extended stay, yep. residence inns, et cetera. And I could bring people home. You could bring people home, yeah. Ooh, you could you could kind of move up in uh, you know sales or recruitment or whatever department see, you want to be in. Who's above grandmaster? <laughs> yeah, 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 might be you be. one day. Might oh, be God. you, might be you. <laughs> you mm. shut your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> so, what are your initial thoughts on that? Uh, that sounds very. That's. Uh, I mean, that's. I'm overwhelmed. Uh, I couldn't. I couldn't imagine leaving the backyard, let alone. <laughs> You know, getting on a plane and and, and Chicago. <laughs> oh mm -hmm. yeah. That sounds dirty. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but it sounds it sounds interesting. And I, you yeah. know, I, um, as long as as long as mother and father and grandmaster approve. Yeah. Well, all you have to do is say it's like from the scene in Up in the Air where George Clooney goes to visit the woman that he's been having an affair with at her lovely Lincoln Park townhouse and discovers that she has a family, a husband, children, stuff like that. And I think they'll understand. Perhaps. <laughs> okay, great. Well, it's good to get your initial thoughts. If you don't mind, I'd like to pitch something now, and then maybe you can weigh both options. Please. Fantastic. Okay. <clears throat> so what I was thinking was kind of an underground um, package. Um, and so what I mean by that is when you're in your backyard, I thought you could start from there. Um, and you and some of your brothers or sisters, colloquially, that's mm -hmm. a tough word to say, um, you could just start digging. You could just start digging. Um, <laughs> kind of like a prison escape thing, if uh, you would need to put that in your own mind. But this is a travel. This is yeah, a travel this is, experience. This is travel. This is travel. Um, people travel uh, underground all the time, whether it's through mines or different railroads that are underground. <laughs> um, so, so you guys will just start digging. Um, and at a certain point, and we'll map this out for you guys, I'm going to want uh -huh. you to dig north. Okay, so that then 
you eventually get to fresh air, which I'm assuming you've never experienced until you came here today. Um, <laughs> yeah, how did you get here? <laughs> it was beautiful. <laughs> I had several asthma decks on the way, but it was worth it. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we're going to map it out so that the directions are perfect so that as soon as you go north, um, you're going to be in that other really nice town in Nebraska of um, Lincoln. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, Yeah, sure. That's north of Omaha. Yeah, sure. Um, uh, North, I meant like from the equator. Okay. And north from the basement, (laughs) like north. You mean up. I meant up. Yeah. (laughs) That's another way to say it, I guess. If you want to put it that way, up. (laughs) Um, so we're going to map it out so that you, you land right in the middle of, mm-hmm. guess what? Field of cows. Mm. A field of cows, you've of, which you've might be of... your own field of dreams um, in, in, a, in a lot of ways. Uh, so then I was thinking what we could do is we could do, we could do a little um, uh, cow riding experience. Um, just go through um, the different fields riding the cows. You and, and again, I don't, I don't want to force anybody else on the trip, but any of your brothers or sisters that want to join you, um, uh, and, and ride these cows with you. Um, then I was thinking maybe never go back. So what mm-hmm. do you think? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Clarice and John Michael would love that. <laughs> now who are they? <laughs> They're my, you know, brother and sister. Okay, fantastic. Respectively. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah. Clarice is the brother, John Michael's the sister. Absolutely. It switches back and forth from time to time. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, they share the name. <laughs> might get confusing from time to time. Well. If you're not up to date on who switched with what and when. Sure, but mm-hmm. we know. Okay, great. So sounds like uh, some brothers. Do you have any questions for me on it or any initial thoughts? How, yeah, I mean, <clears throat> how, how would the digging commence? How would we be doing that? And where, where, where would that start from? Sure. So that's going to start from your backyard. Um, <laughs> which is your basement. Which is the basement okay. um, for everybody listening. But to you, it's a backyard. If you're just tuning in, <laughs> backyard is basement. Just tuning in. Um, so so uh, that will be on you guys, right? I figured maybe you could take some of your recreational time and or sewing time and or sewing equipment to start digging with. Um, or shovels <laughs> might <Yeah>. be easier. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, I think this depends on how long of a vacation you want. If you want it to be a little, if you want it to be more of a, a quick getaway, you probably want to use uh, shovels. Drill. If not, yeah, like uh, some mechanical equipment. <laughs> if you're wanting to take your time, really just relax, just kind Enjoy of soak it in, you might want to dig with some sewing needles. And I I think that can really, you can really kind of enjoy the process, enjoy the work, you know, getting your hands dirty. Oh, well, you know what the Lord says about hard work. I know what, I know what Jesus (laughs) says about, but what does your Lord say about it? (laughs) It makes you strong. It makes you work. It makes. (laughs) Is this another hymn? It's another hymn. Oh my God. Wait, is this one that you're working on? It's well, it's it's one that the grandmaster has seen and is whispering to me in my sleep, and so <laughs> I get I get snippets of it, you know. Uh huh. When but, you're um, kind of yeah, yeah in and out it, of REM. It, absolutely. So it, you know, it makes you strong. It makes you work. When you work hard, the Lord will provide. Okay, this sounds pretty close to the just standard Jesus, Christian yeah. stuff too. Yeah, nothing yeah. too crazy. Just a yeah. little bit less it's, confident. Yeah. <laughs> A little less confident and coherent, but... Yeah, uh, but same general idea. Yeah, it's accessible. I'm just saying it's accessible to people who are familiar, yes. grew up sure, uh, sure, in, in sure. a you more know, conventional or, Christian church. Yeah, you know, when you don't work, you will uh, you will be smited. <laughs> if you don't work for me, something about um, a couple other bars, and uh, you are ugly. Wow. wow. That last part is not very... Jesus like no. but everything else right up to that point was pretty close. Well, you know what they say. <laughs> who who and what? Who and what? You know what the grandmaster says. No, we you don't. know you know you everything. Do. Your job is to write it down. We don't know. Your job is to have him whisper to you while you sleep and then you jot it down when you wake up. Yeah, that's what I, that's what it's all, that's yeah. what it's all about. Yeah, I think the problem is when you say to one of your brothers and sisters colloquially um, and I hope I use the proper uh, Omaha dialect there. Uh, when you say, you know, what, you know what they say, they know. Like we have a different frame yeah, of reference, yeah, so I know. understand. Yeah. But when you say it to us, we don't know. We don't know at all, and I uh, hope we never do. Honestly, <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's not for us. It's not for us. We like to travel. We don't like to stay in a basement where you only get sort of like a little crack of light every mm-hmm. now and then, and and sew people's mouths shut. <laughs> 
I tell you, you're missing out. <laughs> I'm missing out on, just, you know, mouth sewing. Yeah. <laughs> I, I brought some supplies if you guys wanted to, you know, spread the good word. <laughs> you can keep that book. Oh, wow. Thank oh, thank you. That's you. Okay, beautiful. so we'll yeah. keep the book. And then you have a, yeah, you have accompanying supplies that go with it. Because most like religions just have a book that they pass out. But you pass out supplies as well. Supplies, yeah. Well, some needles and thread just in case you do meet someone. Blasphemous. Blasphemous. <laughs> um, just on the spot. Mm-hmm. And, you know, some, <laughs> some sourdough starter. <laughs> Sourdough so you still kit. do just bake bread, yeah, well, just normal yeah, bread. Yeah, normal bread. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, okay, nothing creepy somehow. there. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, what are you thinking? What are you thinking? Weighing the two options. Any other questions for us? What's going on in your head? We got the up in the air tour. We got the mm-hmm. down in the ground <laughs> the tour. Up in the air tour and the down in the ground <laughs> tour, basically. Oh, well, they're both, they both sound so exotic. <laughs> to you, sure. <laughs> I mean, if... Oh gosh, if I did the up in the air, what would Grandmaster say? And if I left down in the ground, what would Mother and Father say? And, but to, the chance to, you know, the chance they each wouldn't have anything to say about the other thing. No, They'd be fine. Yeah. With I it. think they would be fine. Respectively, with you know who's fine with what. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you know. Yeah. We'd well, be, it sounds like a smite it if you do, smite it if you don't type yeah. of situation. Absolutely. I well, don't know I'm if... already here, so I'm already yeah, yeah. gonna get a lashing when I'm home. <laughs> <laughs> a lashing with what? What did you like to know? <laughs> Is it a sewing needle? It's a sewing needle. <laughs> you just throw needles at us. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's not quite a lashing, yeah. I guess, in the traditional sense. Well. <laughs> More of a needle throwing. <laughs> sure, I guess. You're in for a needle not, throwing yeah. when we get home, young man. I feel culturally insensitive. I feel like I'm correcting what is to yeah. you just like normal Omaha language. Okay, that's Omaha, baby. Yeah. <laughs> or actually... It might just be home. I was going to say, yeah. Omaha. Omaha, yeah. Omaha, that's, that's what we call it. How do you know? <laughs> you know, but I think the chance to to spend quality time with my brothers and sisters, uh, whatever they choose to be in that in that day, and that's really special to me. So I think I'm going to go with the digging. Well, just real quick, you can also have one of your sisters. You can... Wait a minute, Keith. Look, this isn't a competition. You I'm don't just, need I to change. I know it's not a competition. I just want you to know... <laughs> That your brothers and sisters can also come on the up in the air trip, and you can eat like you could be George Clooney. One of your brothers and sisters can be Anna Kendrick. <laughs> one of them can be Danny McBride, uh, who That's has a. Kind, but John Michael is allergic to fresh air, so that would never work. <laughs> Thank you. So <laughs> underground, yeah, the air is not fresh at all in, in Lincoln. Once you, yeah, once you get to Lincoln and yeah. you're around those cows, yeah, because the cow patties. I don't know if you know, but shit smells bad. So excuse me. Yeah. Have you ever been allowed to take a shit? Do they sew another hole shut? <laughs> is this sort of like a, a reverse human centipede situation that you're in? Where they well, stop not you from quite reverse. I guess. Yeah, yeah, kind of. Reverse would be, you know, you know what reverse would be for sure. human centipede, but uh, yeah, for our thirteenth birthday, we all get colonoscopy. <laughs> wow. Colonoscopy. Call call. Not colonoscopies too. <laughs> You get a colonoscopy. We got to clear it out get first. Colos- yeah, you got to We get yeah. a colonoscopy, then we get a colonoscopy. <laughs> a bag, wow. a poop bag. Yeah, well, you know, lucky it's like number a, 13. It's like your rite of passage mm. Absolutely. is when you get your butthole so shut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know there are bar and bat mitzvahs when you're 13. There's a quinceanera, 15 different cultural traditions. And yours, when you turn 13, you get your butthole sewn up and get a colonoscopy bag stapled to your leg or whatever. <laughs> yeah, it's... <laughs> Gosh, it's a great time for, <laughs> for any young girl. And now I'm starting to realize finally why you were so nervous. <laughs> it's all coming together now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I, I didn't mean to like get too competitive. If if you want to go with the down in the ground tour, that's great, but let's just get a confirmation. I would like to stay in the ground. Okay. Excellent. Right. What is it? Tied up again? Tied up at four. Four, four. Not a competition, not a competition. but it <laughs> is tied. We're neck and neck in a non-competitive way. In a non-competitive way, it is four to four, but we don't keep score. Four to four, don't keep score. I have no idea what score it is, yeah. but it's four to four. Four to four. Wow. Wow. Great. This is going to be great Man. for you, I think. Like, uh, really spreading your wings. I mean, not really, because you're staying yeah. on the ground. Spreading but, uh, your arms while you're digging. Yeah, maybe, with a, potentially with, a, with sewing needles. Sewing needles. <laughs> Absolutely. The chance to... to do some hard work and <laughs> and please the Lord. And Finally, and please oh, the Grandmaster. you've just wow. been doing so much playing and having fun and relaxing at home. Oh, it's just you finally been, get to do some hard work. It's been too leisurely. Have we touched there. on what, what what your playing is? What do you do when you guys play there? Well, you know we. Uh... <laughs> 
Uh, you don't have to say. It. Yeah, it's you don't okay. have to. If say you don't want to say. You don't have to. <laughs> I'd prefer to keep that. Okay. okay. Yeah. No. Yeah. I think we probably would sure. too. Just based on your facial expression, <laughs> you, it looked like you were. <laughs> It's not Catan. They're not playing Catan. Yeah, they're not. Yeah, it did, did not look like a remembering. Oh, a time that I like bounced on a trampoline. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't a fond memory that, that, yeah, that was yeah. being drawn up. Yeah, no, that wasn't like a oh a birthday party at a laser tag. That 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 looked like fear. Something. Yeah, fear. <laughs> something. You were recovering a memory. <laughs> so I apologize for bringing that up, but. Wow, super excited for you. Thank you again so much for coming yeah, on. Yeah, thank you so much, you. Uh, Casey Gallagher. Thank you so which much. Which is a surprisingly normal name. <laughs> <laughs> well, it sounds like you guys just kind of switch names willy nilly. Anyway, that's the name yeah, for you today. Yeah, you might be something yeah. else tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, I'll just send you a forwarding address. Perfect. <laughs> for, it'll be the same address. <laughs> just whatever the new name is. Absolutely. Okay, great. <laughs> thank you. That'll help. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, wow. So, wow. It feels good to help another client, uh, make another friend. Um, and potentially save a life from a cult. <laughs> potentially, but you know, I, I, I'm skeptical. We won't make any promises. Um, but uh, yeah, so uh, we'll be right back uh, to wrap up this episode of Destination, Destination Passport. Passport. Welcome back to Destination Passport. Passport. Wow, Casey Gallagher, um, probably one of our more beleaguered guests. <laughs> beleaguered, good word for it. Yeah, yeah. I don't know that uh, I've I've gotten done with another client and thought beleaguered. Yeah. So yeah, I agree. <laughs> Definitely the uh, most beleaguered. Uh, interesting life. Yeah. Interesting backstory she on that puts one. Some of our other clients' problems uh, in perspective, <laughs> I would say. But can I just say? Um, had a positive attitude about the whole Absolutely. thing. Other people, I think, complained about smaller things, and yeah. she just thought everything about her life was That's great. That's the thing that people... Uh, in cults don't in get. Cults don't get. <laughs> yeah, these people who are brainwashed to be parts of cults, they're always so negative about everything. It's like, I hate being in this cult. I hate the leader. Yeah. It's such a bummer. I want to do stuff that... No, she, she just... She gets it. She's she in it. She got it. You know, she was she making the, the word, most of it. And maybe it's because she is the one who gets whispered the word of God directly from Grandmaster. <laughs> maybe that helps, you know? Yeah. She's kind of one of the more, the direct, one of the more direct sources there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which, God, I mean... And, and to have that positive attitude when... It sounds like you don't get much sleep, if any, quality sleep. <laughs> no. You're constantly having... <laughs> if the having, Grandmaster's whispering in your ear all night. You're having new hymns whispered into your ear that you're... You're expected to then transcribe. <laughs> transcribe in the morning. And I would imagine if you don't remember them and transcribe them correctly, you get a bit of a lashing. A bit of a lashing, aka needle <laughs> needles thrown at you. Thrown at you. <laughs> Which honestly, it's like, choose a better euphemism, right? <laughs> if you're not going to actually describe what the punishment is, choose something that doesn't sound like a punishment, like lashing, yeah. right? That's just a tip. That's just, that's just a note I have for home, the holy organization of mostly everyone. <laughs> that's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Oh, and they do hope to get to mostly everyone. So if you're listening, um, you know we'll 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 uh, we'll have the show notes and some of the information for home. Yeah. Uh, if you if you're interested in joining, and you know um, we record these episodes a little bit in advance, so there's a possibility that by the time you listen to this, you will be have you will have been indoctrinated in home. You might yeah. be thinking, where did this come from? How did this happen? Like this could give you a little bit of behind the scenes insight yeah. into what your life is now. Yeah, like the origin story for how um, you even heard about it, yeah. because we sent your profit out to find you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the spreader, yeah. the word, yeah, whatever. Yeah, I, I am a little bit concerned for the people of Lincoln, Nebraska, <laughs> that they might end up <laughs> going the other way through that needle tunnel. Oh, no, I didn't think about that. <laughs> What if they all see the we tunnel might have and go just that way? Them I opened up a pathway. You literally was, opened a tunnel to hell. <laughs> I, was, <laughs> I was trying to get them out of there. A tunnel to home. Sorry, I missed sorry, that. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. Uh, a tunnel back home. Um, and I hope they put a sign out front uh, yeah. of the opening in the middle of the cow field that says <laughs> tunnel, tunnel to home. Yeah. Um, well, great client. So, so happy for her. And we'll check in with her, you know, uh, next yeah. week. We'll, we'll fill you all in on, on how the trip's going. <laughs> Um, but uh, Keith, you want to take it away with uh, what do we got? The tip of the week. Tip of the week. We got a tip. We got a tip. We got a tip. 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 And that is the remix of the tip of the week theme song from last week. 
you might not be able to tell that it was a remix because it was only it was slightly different, different <laughs> in sort of a way that makes you think like, do they just not remember how it went? No, no it's, no, no, it's no. a remix. It's a remix. That was pre-recorded. We didn't just do that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so this week's tip of the week, um, you know, I was reminded and sort of I had to check in with myself, kind of call myself out yeah. when we were talking to uh, Casey. Um, maybe fire uh, yourself a little bit. <laughs> maybe fire myself from this habit um, of, you know, being sort of... Um, it's, it's, it can be difficult to handle when somebody speaks a different dialect, accent, language than yeah. you do, a different yep. vernacular. Yep. And um, that just, I, I sort of like, you know, we're not perfect, even though we are perfect travelers. Damn, you're close. Um, we, uh, we make mistakes, we slip up. And yep. so that sort of reminded me, like, I have to follow my own advice. This is advice that we give clients often. But, you know, when you are, um, especially abroad or somewhere like fucked up like Omaha, uh, it, it, it's important to understand like the way that they talk. And I think the best way to understand the way that other people talk and kind of get to know their language uh, and their vernacular, their grammar, whatever, is to uh, correct them whenever possible. Yeah. Because, yeah. you know, like we, if people miss, like English speakers m misuse English, misspeak, even if it's your first language, if it's, yeah. you know, what you're fluent in. Even if you're fluent, you can still screw up. So what you want to do is if, like, let's say you're in Paris. Sure. You know. Yep sort of the, um, the anti-Omaha. And you're in Paris, and everyone there is speaking French. Mm -hmm. And uh, someone says, like, um, uh, sacre blow. <laughs> you can say, um, excuse me. It says here in this book, <laughs> it's sacre bleu. Yeah. And they'll appreciate that. They'll appreciate that, that. Like, yeah, exactly. Excuse me, I'm from America. Can I correct your French for a moment, please? Yeah, and they'll love it. Yeah. And they will absolutely, love, with open arms, yeah. they will accept you. Because what's there's no better way of learning than teaching. <laughs> exactly. Right? So if you can go to Paris and teach all the people there French. That if means you can, you've learned it. Yeah, if you can go to Mexico City, teach everyone there Spanish. You know, If you can go to Omaha, teach everyone there wing Winglings. Wingdings. <laughs> <laughs> like that is, that's the way that you will learn. So even if you don't know a lick of French, yeah. if you can go around and correct as many native French speakers as you can, if they make a minor slip up, they misspeak, uh, whatever. They use a word that's maybe not as precise as you would mm -hmm. as an English speaker who doesn't know how to use French is just going <laughs> off of a translation book. That's how you're going to learn. That's how you're going to become conversational and then fluent. It's just the respectful way to go about life, it's too, I think. right? Yeah. And that was the thing I noticed about in the conversation because I, I caught you noticing that, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And I didn't think you were correcting her enough. Yeah, um, I felt bad about that. And so I hope, I could, I hope I she didn't kind of feel see, disrespected. Yeah, I could kind of... Sometimes I saw a look on her face where when it wasn't just like straight up PTSD flashback... <laughs> I or, also, or whimpering. Or whimpering. <laughs> uh, just meek whimpering. Yeah. When it wasn't one of those things, I was worried that the look on her face was like, he hasn't corrected my Omaha English in a while. Yeah. I'm starting to feel disrespected. Yeah, what does he not like, respect my Is he not even paying enough from? attention to what I'm saying to correct me in my native tongue? Man. Yeah. So, uh, again, we're not perfect. That's yeah. the tip of the week, and, and we're going to listen to it as well. Yeah, we're going to listen to that. We're going to listen to that back and, and let it, and let it uh, infiltrate our own minds. Yeah, infiltrate. So thanks a bunch, Keith. If you don't mind, I'm going to launch into what to look out for. I don't mind. And in fact, I want you to do that because that's what comes next. <laughs> well, here it is. What to look out for. <laughs> that one was way new. And we're just trying anything at this point. We're just point trying for it these. out. Yeah. Um, so this week's what to look out for is spiders. <laughs> when you are traveling around... Uh -huh. Um, and Keith and I have picked up on this. We've actually yeah. doodled it. We've we've written it out a lot. We've noticed spiders are out and about, mm -hmm. ladies and gentlemen. And when you when you go to different regions, you know what else we've noticed, especially from our doodles when we get back home and we compare all the different sketches of the spiders that we've drawn. Yeah, they're different. They're very they're different. They're different based on different regions. And yet, some elements are the same. Some elements are the same, like the Eight number legs. of legs. Eight. Yeah, In we've caught on every case. Yeah, but watch out for those because they can be dangerous, mm -hmm. but they can also be friendly. Yeah. So when I say watch out, I don't necessarily mean in a dangerous way. Yeah. I mean just keep your eyes peeled because A, they're beautiful creatures. Mm -hmm. B, they make great um, uh, pieces of, of art to sketch. Mm -hmm. um, and C, they could be your friendly companion, your next friendly companion yeah. on your travel journey. Yeah, we've sent a lot of people specifically on the Charlotte's Web Vacation yeah. uh, package, and uh, they have made friends with some of the smartest, most insightful spiders uh, you could even imagine. Yeah, just the, the fact that they're spelling anything in the, in the cobwebs. 
<laughs> um, automatically goes pretty smart for yeah, a spider. That's pretty damn smart for a spider. Even if a spider just spells like <clears throat> me, you know, even if you think like, <laughs> even if they spell something and there's a typo and you're kind of like, is that even yeah. a word? Yeah. Like one time I was befriending a spider, mm -hmm. uh, cause we try everything. Absolutely. And, um, I was like, Hey spider, what's your name? And the spider, it took a while. But the spider um, sure. wove. You went, you went to get lunch and then I you came back. I went to get lunch. I came back, checking on the progress, still going. So I went to get dinner yeah. immediately after lunch. I was hungry. Yeah. Uh, and then I came back after dinner. And then it was dark, so you then couldn't it see dark, it. So, so you had to go back. It. You had to go to bed. Got to go to bed. I got back in the morning. They were still working on it. <laughs> uh, I think maybe the spider slept too. Yeah. Um, but eventually, uh, the answer to the question, what's your name, was a spooter. <laughs> and <laughs> I was like, well, is your name Spooter, S-B-U-D-E-R, or was that a typo? Is your name Spider? So then it started working again <laughs> started working in the same again. process. I had lunch, I had dinner, I went to bed, I had breakfast, I had lunch, I had dinner, I went to bed, I got up, uh, and then uh, and saw that um, it wrote Spooter again. <laughs> So then you found out its name is actually Spooter Spooter. Yeah, it's name. Yeah, so it wasn't what, done with the original was, one. It wasn't done. <laughs> so basically, that spider's name was Spooter Spooter. <laughs> yeah. And I just wasn't patient enough. And that's another thing. You know, if you're going to befriend a spider, you got to be patient because it takes a while for them to them. communicate. You yeah, know? exactly. And it, it takes a while for them to open up. Yeah, but now Spooter Spooter is one of my best friends. Exactly. So what's what watch out for is spiders, spooters, and everything around, <laughs> um, because they could be they they still could be dangerous. Watch yeah. out. But they could become your next best friend. <laughs> your next best friend after your best friend. <laughs> they could become your second best yeah, friend. Probably yeah. that's the ceiling for spiders, honestly. Like if we're just being honest, if we're just, being just honest. how long it takes to communicate. Oh my God. There's how no way they could work up to best friends. Yeah. yeah, you just don't have enough time left in your life. But yeah. next best friend, potential. Yeah. Potential is there for yeah, that. That's not as much of a commitment. And I think that's doable for most people and most spooters. Most spooters as well. Yep. Excellent. Well, <sighs> what? <laughs> I, I was just going to wrap it up. Oh, sorry. I, uh, I got my phone a little early. I got another message from um, Ophelia in Omaha. Oh. It's a um, bit, bit risque. Uh oh. <laughs> Don't tell me the numbers five, zero, and zero are involved in that particular order yeah. with the money sign in front of it's it. It's a picture of her. <laughs> and let's just say <laughs> she's wearing clothes, but I can tell she wants to take them off. And can I just ask real quick, uh -huh. when you say it's a picture of her and she's wearing clothes, is that just her business card on the invoice that she sent you? A Are you asking if, if I'm saying by a picture of her wearing clothes, I mean like a scan of her business card? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the message says, you need to send the $500 immediately. <laughs> Here's my card. Please call me. Yeah, that's what I'm asking. Yeah, but I could tell that she was clothed when she was, like, taking the picture of her business card, and I could tell beyond that that she wanted to take off the clothes and then take a picture of her with the clothes off. Well, when she's sending you those inside jokes, that's kind of the, yeah. the wink, wink, I mean, come on. If you're going to... What do you expect? If you're going to say, again, like, kind of running this joke into the ground, honestly, I still love it because it's any sort of contact with a, <laughs> a, a woman at all, but it's getting a little old, you know? But it's like, okay, she's still into this hilarious $500. Sure. Pay me $500 for the window or pay the hotel. Yeah. Um, it's like, come on, what else? Am, how else am I supposed to interpret that other than you're um, wanting to send nudes, but you're just shy? Make a, I'm going to make a suggestion. Try to try to get a new inside joke with her. Okay, that's good. So yeah. maybe my inside joke. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna send, I got one right now. Yeah. I'm going to send this um, uh, hey, Ophelia, new inside joke. <laughs> Uh, I will not pay the five hundred dollars any under any circumstances, and if you try to get it from me, I will kill you. Send. Funny. <laughs> I think she'll get it immediately. Yeah, she'll get it. Okay. Well, um, that's been about it for Destination Passport. Yeah. Thanks again for tuning in. Um, we'll we'll catch up with our our client from this week uh, next week. Thank you all so much for listening, uh, and we'll be back again next week with mm -hmm. another client. Intelligence level, TBD. TBD. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so for all of us here at Bird Product Travel Agency, I've been Keith Bird. I'm Damon Product. And we hope that you are able to dig a tunnel to your version of freedom soon. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.